Hello everyone, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is 10th class on Vector Algebra. In this class, we are going to do exercise problems of Vector Algebra from exercise number 10.2 in NCRT textbook. To do these exercise problems, earlier classes knowledge is needed. In case if you not watched earlier classes, I'll give that playlist link here. You can find that playlist link in cards. Related to second exercise, in theory part, three main things are there. One is direction cosines and direction ratios of a vector. Second one is triangle law of vector addition and parallelogram law of vector addition. Third one is section formula in vector algebra. These three are the main definitions in the theory part related to second exercise of vector algebra. Before going to start this video, please drop a like for this video. Without much delay, let's begin the class. NCRT textbook class 12 exercise number 10.2 from vector algebra chapter. The first question is like this. Compute the magnitudes of the following vectors. They are given three vectors a bar, b bar, c bar. We need to calculate magnitudes of these vectors. In theory part, we learn this point. Magnitude of x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap is square root of x square plus y square plus z square. So, magnitude of this vector formula is square root of x square plus y square plus z square. First, I will calculate magnitude of vector a bar. You observe they are given vector a bar as i cap plus j cap plus k cap. What I need to calculate? I need to calculate its magnitude. I need scalar components of this vector. See i bar scalar component is 1, j bar scalar component is 1, k bar scalar component is 1. So what is magnitude of this vector? Magnitude of this vector is root over 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square right so what you will get that is root 3 so magnitude of this vector is root 3 now you observe the second vector b bar equal to 2 i cap minus 7 j cap minus 3 k cap we need to calculate magnitude of this vector magnitude of vector to calculate magnitude of this vector i need scalar components of this vector for this vector scalar components are 2 minus 7 minus 3 so this magnitude is square root of 2 whole square plus minus 7 whole square plus minus 3 whole square. If you simplify this what we will get. See here 2 square is 4 plus minus 7 whole square is 49 plus 3 square. 3 square is 9. Okay that is root over 49 plus 4 53. 53 plus 9 is 62. So magnitude of this vector is root over 62. Similarly, what is magnitude of c cap? Magnitude of c cap is square root of, this is the vector c bar, na. you take their scalar components, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3 whole square plus, yes, again 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3 whole square plus minus 1 by root 3 whole square. If I simplify this further, what I will get? See here, 1 by root 3 whole square is what? 1 by root 3 whole square is 1 by 3, 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3. If I simplify further, 3 is the LCM. In the numerator, you will get 1 plus 1 plus 1. In the numerator, you will get 3. 3 divided by 3 is what? 1. So, magnitude of this third vector is 1. And we know that if magnitude of a vector is 1, we will say that that is a unit vector. So, this is a unit vector. Calculating magnitude of a vector is important. Throughout this chapter, most of the times we will calculate magnitudes of the given vectors. So, to calculate magnitudes of the given vectors, this formula you need to know. You observe the second question. Write two different vectors having same magnitude. This is very easy question, but to answer this, theory part knowledge is compulsory. Here, what they are saying, two different vectors. What do you know about different vectors and equal vectors? Equal vectors means the vectors which are having same magnitude and same direction are known as equal vectors. If they are not having same magnitude or if they are not having same direction, then we will say the vectors are different vectors. I will write an example of two different vectors which are having same magnitude. I will consider a vector like this a bar equal to i cap plus 2j cap plus 2k cap. 
I consider a vector a bar like this. What is magnitude of this vector? Magnitude of this vector is root over. What are the scalar components of this vector? 1, 2, 2. So 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square. So what you will get here that is root over 1 plus 4 plus 4. This is root 9. Root 9 is same as 3. So I consider a vector whose magnitude is 3 units. Now, what do you know about minus a bar? What do you know about minus a bar? Are a bar minus a bar are equal vectors? No, their direction is different now. Moreover, the direction of minus a bar is exactly opposite direction of a bar. How you will get minus a bar? Multiply this complete vector with minus. What is minus a bar? Minus a bar is minus i cap minus 2j cap 2k cap. It is 100% clear that a bar minus a bar are different vectors. Now the question is, are these two vectors are having same magnitude or not? For that, I'll calculate magnitude of this vector. Magnitude of minus a bar. To calculate magnitude of a vector, I need scalar components of this vector. What are scalar components of this vector? Minus 1, minus 2, minus 2. So what you'll get? Minus 1 whole square plus minus 2 whole square plus minus 2 whole square. What is minus 1 whole square? As whole square is there, this minus will become plus only. Minus 2 whole square is 4. Minus 2 whole square is 4. Root 9. This is root 9. What is the value of root 9? The value of root 9 is 3. You can observe here, they are having same magnitude. Therefore, a bar comma minus a bar are the different vectors with same magnitude. You observe this question number 3. Write two different vectors having same direction. The vectors are different having same direction. Okay. To do this, if you have knowledge of scalar multiplication of a vector, you can write this answer very easily. What do you know about a bar, m a bar? In scalar multiplication of a vector, you learn this point, m a bar. If m is positive, what is the direction of m a bar? The direction of m a bar is along the direction of a bar. What I am trying to say here, a bar, m a bar will have same direction when m is positive. You see here as 2 is positive, 2 a bar also along the direction of a bar. So a bar, 2 a bar are in the same direction. Not only these vectors, a bar comma 3 a bar, they are also in the same direction. a bar comma 1 by 2 into a bar, these are also in the same direction. Like this, we can give infinitely many examples. You observe here, I consider a vector a bar as i cap plus 2 j cap plus 3 k cap. This contains some direction. What you learned just now? a bar comma 2 a bar will be in the same direction as 2 is positive a bar comma 2 a bar are in the same direction what is a 2 a bar how you will get this 2 a bar multiply this complete vector with a scalar 2 multiply what you will get 2 into i cap plus 2 into 2 that is 4 into j cap multiply this complete vector with 2 plus 2 into 3 that is 6 k cap you observe here a bar to a bar they are in the same direction now the question is their magnitudes are different or not i'll calculate here see magnitude of a bar what is the magnitude of a bar root over what is magnitude of a bar what are scalar components of a bar one two three so what is its magnitude one square plus two square plus three square root over 1 plus 4 that is 5 5 plus 9 that is 14 so magnitude of a bar is i got root 14 now i will calculate magnitude of this vector magnitude of 2 a bar we already learned the formula to calculate magnitude of this vector modulus of 2 into modulus of a bar modulus of 2 is 2 only 2 root 14 you can observe here this a bar, a bar is a vector whose magnitude is root 14. 2 a bar is a vector whose magnitude is 2 times of root 14. Their magnitudes are different and you know that their directions is same. So you observe here I written a bar comma 2 a bar are two different vectors. How you came to know they are different vectors because their magnitudes are not same. That's why they are different vectors. 
what about direction of a bar and 2 a bar we know that their direction is same now you observe this question number 4 find the values of x and y we need to find the values of x and y for that what information given so that the vectors here you see they given two vectors these two vectors are equal this is very easy question you see what they given they given two vectors they are saying that these two vectors are equal vectors then find the values of x and y you compare the scalar components of these two you see here i bar component is uh, x here i bar component is 2 so what i'll write i'll write x equal to 2 you observe here j bar component is y here j bar component is 3 so i'll write y equal to 3 in this vector in place of x you write 2 in place of y you write 3 then what this will become this is 2i cap plus 3j cap then those two are equal vectors it is very easy to say so if these two vectors are equal what are the values of x and y x is 2 y is 3 very simple okay you observe this question number 5 find the scalar and vector components of the vector find the scalar and vector components of the vector with initial point 2 comma 1 terminal point is minus 5 comma 7 what i'll do here i'll take initial point as a i'm considering let a is 2 comma 1 and what is the terminal point b is minus 5 comma 7 i consider that initial point is a terminal point is b as initial point is a terminal point is b first i'll calculate the vector a b bar a b bar to calculate a b bar what is the formula you learn in triangle of vector addition you learn this point a b bar can be written as o b bar minus o a bar a b bar can be written as o b bar minus o a bar but they're not given o a bar o b bar it's okay we know that if there is a point then we can write its position vector here the point a is given now then you can write o a bar what is o a bar o a bar is 2 into i cap plus 1 into j cap which is same as j cap okay and as they given point b you can write o b bar every point can be expressed in terms of its position vector this is point b now so o b bar can be written as minus 5 i cap plus 7 j cap okay o b bar what is o b bar minus 5 i cap plus 7 j cap minus of o a bar what is o a bar 2 i cap plus j cap okay now i will simplify this here minus 5 is there minus 2 minus 5 minus 2 is what minus 7 i cap it can be understood easily now you observe j cap components here 7 is there here plus of minus is minus 7 minus 1 that is 6 6 j cap so i calculated a b bar a b bar is o b bar minus o a bar so what is this vector this vector is a b bar now what they are asking scalar components of vector a b bar scalar components of vector a b bar see here i got a b bar as minus 7 i cap plus 6 j cap now what are its scalar components its scalar components are minus 7 6 these are the scalar components of the vector a b bar vector components of the vector a b bar what are vector components of this vector a b bar minus 7 i cap comma 6 j cap these are known as vector components of the vector a b bar these are known as scalar components of the vector a b bar you see this question number six this is very easy question find the sum of the vectors they given a bar b bar c bar they are asking to calculate sum of these three vectors sum of these three vectors a bar b bar c bar is denoted like this a bar plus b bar plus c bar to calculate sum of these three vectors just i will consider scalar components of a bar b bar c bar you observe here i bar coefficient is 1 here i bar coefficient is minus 2 here i bar coefficient is 1 i will add these numbers okay what you will get 1 i bar coefficient is 1 plus here i bar coefficient is minus 2 plus here i bar coefficient is 1 into i cap plus now j bar coefficients what is j bar coefficient here j bar coefficient is minus 2 plus here j bar coefficient is 4 plus here j bar coefficient is minus 6 okay into j cap plus now you observe here what is k cap coefficient that is 1 plus here k cap coefficient 5 plus here k cap coefficient minus 7 into k cap okay 
you observe this 1 plus 1 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 0 into i cap plus you observe this minus 2 plus 4 that is plus 2 plus 2 minus 6 is minus 4 minus 4 into j cap plus 1 plus 5 is 6 6 minus 7 is minus 1 minus 1 into k cap 0 into i cap this is nothing but 0 only so what you will get here minus 4 into j cap minus k cap therefore addition of these three vectors is minus 4 j cap minus k cap i hope you understand this class if you like this video please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends so that they also will get benefit in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now thanks for watching take care Bye-bye.